Hello, Australia. Welcome to it. This is the scene right around the nation on Foxtel's Aurora and on demand on YouTube. This show is all about great Australian and West Australian music. And if you are watching us on YouTube as well, hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss an episode of the best West Aussie and Australian music. And this show presented by Atomic Beer as well. Great to have them on board uh, for season seven. We are into it. This is episode two. Let's get right into it, I reckon. An artist that grew up here in Western Australia in Kalgoorlie, started writing songs at the age of seven. It is Claudia Tripp. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Claudia Tripp and Phantom. <laughs> Never happened after everything that happened You left me hanging like a puppet on your string I got lost and I don't know where you've been Was I a secret that you didn't think was worth sharing? Now I can't share it You got the best of me This show is all about great Australian music. How good did that sound, everybody, in the studio? Claudia Tripp. Yeah. With Phantom. Claudia, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. My absolute pleasure. I mentioned earlier that you grew up in Kalgoorlie in WA. Um, how old were you when you came down to Perth? About 11, I Okay. Think. So you were up there. Quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, a while ago. But you were up there for quite a while. Yeah. Um, tell me about the Kalgoorlie music scene. Well, I didn't see a heap of it because yeah. I wasn't old enough to gig in bars and all of that. But, um, yeah, that's where I, you know, my dad played in heaps of bands around that time. So I just grew up seeing all the live music that's there, surprisingly, quite a bit for the three pubs that they've got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's where I 
yeah, where I realised I loved it. And that's kind of where you got into music. What styles did you get into when you were in Kalgoorlie? I think I wasn't really focusing on any styles, to be honest. Yeah. I was just um, writing songs about my feelings. <laughs> I'm yeah. still doing it. And, um, yeah, the, honestly, the country genre has just followed me. I had heaps of people that used to say, you sound country, but I didn't want to believe it. And then, <laughs> Why um, is that? You didn't, <laughs> didn't want to be under that I just hadn't, hadn't thought about it, yeah, okay. and hadn't planned to be. And then, um, yeah, it wasn't too long until I... I fully embrace the country scene. And it, well, it really suits you though. Like it suits your sensibilities and your voice and your songwriting style as well. Um, but you were seven when you started. Was it seven when you started to write songs? <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, that's that's so, I mean, that's crazy young, right? I'm not going to say they were good. <laughs> what, what is a seven-year-old write about? Like what's in your lunchbox? Honestly, like what's something like that, hey, like and things I saw in movies or shows. Um, <laughs> it's always it's always just been my way of dealing with everything in my life, you know, good yeah. times, bad times. Um I just can't, I don't know how I feel about something until I write it into a song. Okay. Do you have any recordings of those songs from the early, early days? Yes, and I hope they never see the light of day. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's My part parents, of the... I've got them somewhere, oh, ready yeah. for like blackmail. <laughs> That's a box set for later in life. Yeah, um, and so not. 12 years of age when you started gigging, right? Yes, or, or played yeah. your first gig. Do you remember that first show? I think it was just busking on the street. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where, whereabouts, in Kalgoorlie? No, I think, yeah, just when we moved here, yeah. Okay. And so what, what about busking did you enjoy or was it just a, simply the fact that you were out there playing and that was enough? Yeah, honestly, that was it. I just had all these songs and I wanted to sing them and obviously too young to gig and nobody knew who I was or cared. So I just wanted to get out there and have someone hear my song even if they're just passing by. And, yeah, right. Um, yeah. And there were original songs, cover songs, or a bit of both? Yeah, both. A bit of both. Okay. And so 12 years of age, busking, how do we get here? So where did you go from that point? Did you go study music or did you just go travel and learn what you wanted to do? What was the trajectory? So I think I was about 15 when I just picked up a guitar and, um, or maybe 14, yeah, and picked up a guitar and that was like the best way to accompany my own, my own stuff. And um, yeah, from there I started a band when I think I was about 17. Okay. And yeah, just keep going from there, getting new people involved, doing whatever I can. Where would you love to travel to and, and songwrite? I just imagine someone like you would want to <laughs> just go to a far reaching place of the earth, lock yourself away for a month, write an album. Is that, I kind of get that vibe. Would you like to do something like yeah, that? Yeah, definitely Nashville. <laughs> My yeah, plan right. was definitely to go there before COVID happened. And but... so you haven't been there yet? <laughs> no, haven't been there. Okay, I mean, it's the kind of the epicenter of country music, right? Yeah. What, what is it about country music that attracts you to it? I think it's just that it's not about what sounds good, what's catchy, what's hooky. It's just about telling your story and, yeah, telling your story and writing how you feel into a song and that's what makes so many people relate to it. Yeah, it is the relatable kind of singer-songwriter yeah. sort of stuff. What artists did, did you get into as a kid? All genres, honestly. Um, yeah, everything. I think John Mayer was a big songwriting inspiration. Okay. Um, yeah, Taylor Swift, people like that. Um, yeah, Shania Twain, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and from there, you know, newer people like Marin Morris, Ryan Hurd, okay. country artists like that. Yeah, cool. I mean, so you haven't gone to Nashville, but you have gone to Tamworth Country yes. Music Festival and hello to our mates uh, in New South Wales. What was, <laughs> what I've always wanted, to, I've been to Nashville, incredible, loved every <laughs> moment of it. I haven't gone to Tamworth, but everyone I know that's gone just loves it, absolutely loves it. Has to book accommodation 17 years in advance yep. because it's just you cannot get in there, <laughs> yeah. right? But what's it like from your perspective? So much fun. There's music everywhere. Yeah. I think I walked down the street once and heard Country Roads sang four times because there's buskers, <laughs> there's buskers like, you know, two metres away from each other. There's music in every venue. It's so, so great. So, so much music. And when you went over there, did you play a bunch of like showcases or what did you do? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I just played um, on a few of the, the main stages that were going there and um, did a few interviews, things like that. Just, but the main, the main thing was just to get to know other country artists. And since that, I've written with so many of them, which has been so much fun. Okay, yeah, right. Well, from your perspective, being in country music, what's the Australian country music scene like? Because I feel um, it gets bigger and bigger every year. I mean, it's, you know, the biggest selling music in America. It's just, it's obviously, as you would know, it's just huge, right? Yeah. How are we going in Australia? There's so much country music coming, mo mostly from like the East Coast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so many, so many artists that I've been even just seen live or collaborated with that are like amazing Nashville standard. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of, I feel like it's crossing over into kind of um, uh, contemporary music pop yeah. landscapes a little bit. Yeah. I definitely say my stuff as well is more pop country, yep. um, that blend between both. It's not, not so bluesy anymore. It's yeah. more contemporary. And so what's the plan from here out? 
where do you want to go from here? So you've obviously got the new single, which you're going to play in just a moment on the show, yes. which we're looking forward to. But what's the plan from, from then on? My plan is just to play as many festivals, gigs, um, write as much as I can, just get heaps of songs under my belt and then, yeah, hopefully do a tour next year when the country opens when, up again. <laughs> COVID is a thing of the past. Yes. So the new single is Too Far Gone. It is yes. out September 24. Tell us yes. about this song. Where did it come from? This is a song I wrote. It's a breakup song like most of my songs. <laughs> yeah. um, it's just about, you know, being over, being treated badly by someone and putting your foot down and saying, I don't, I don't have anything to lose anymore and I'm walking away. Okay. <laughs> is this part of an EP or an album? No. Just it could be in the future. <laughs> okay. So, but at the moment, standalone single. Yes. Okay. Single is out September 24, uh, Too Far Gone. The show is at the Civic Hotel, yeah. October 10. Yes. Okay. Details. So <laughs> if you want details, and I know you're definitely going to want details when we go to a break and come back and the band are going to get up and play that, you can find all the info on the website, which is Claudia Trip. Dot com. But thank you so much for, for coming in today. The band sounds amazing. So thank round you. of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Claudia Tripp. <laughs> it's great stuff. We're going to take a very short break right here on Foxtel's Aurora back in just a moment with Claudia Tripp and Too Far Gone on the scene. This is the scene. I hate the way you tell me you miss me. I wish you wouldn't say goodbye and then kiss me.
Great job. Great job. How good do they sound? How good do they sound? This is The Scene. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, of course, you can find us on YouTube all around the country and our Foxtel's Aurora. But we'll catch you next week with Perth Legends End of Fashion here on this stage. See you next week. This is The Scene. Thank you. Good night. Yeah.